Uh, Ryan Hudson Peralta, 36 years old. Uh, I was born with a disability called quadrimembral limb deficiency, which is the shortening of the arms and the legs. Uh, but in my case, I was born without hands. Um, but it, uh, that's something I've never let affect my life at all. When I'm by myself at home, I can pretty much do everything but cook. That's it, I get, I get help with the, the shower and someone makes my food and um, you know, gets me a pop or a beer once in a while. And... My mom gave birth to me and they took me away and they came back to her and they said, uh, there's a problem with your son. And she's like, well, what, let me see him. She's like, no, I don't think you want to see him right now. He has no arms, no legs. And they said, listen, you know, it's okay if you don't want to keep him. And she says, you know, what the hell are you talking about? This is my son. My parents, they never let me feel sorry for myself or, um, you know, get down on myself. No matter where we go, there'll be people staring at me. I, there's been people that stare at me and like walk into signs. I had a lady like fall into almost an open manhole cover because she was staring at me. When I was younger, I'd go on dates and I thought maybe that they might feel a little uncomfortable, but you know, it, it, it's the staring that was the only problem. When I met my wife, she uh, went home. She told her mom that she met this guy in a wheelchair. Um, she said she didn't say he had no arms and legs, but whatever, that's how everybody describes me, right? So, we've been together since uh, December 1999. Um, she's, she's my rock. She takes care of everything around the house, um, helps me out anytime I need something. My daughter, Miranda, she'll be 21 next month. Um, she's gonna be graduating from Oakland University. Our son, Noah, he's our baseball player. He's been playing baseball since he was like four years old. He's been playing travel baseball since he was eight. And at an early age, you know, I couldn't play baseball. So I learned the sport as best as possible and helped my dad coach my brother. I was 12 years old, he was 13. And I've been pretty much coaching baseball ever since then. To see these boys like look at me, even today, you know, they look at a guy in a wheelchair that can't play the game. I'm sure there's a lot of people that say, well, what does he know about the game? But, um, you know, I've. I've won a lot of championships with, with young players and, and I've you know, come a long way. There's nobody that's gonna go, go to work for me every day. Um, I drive myself to work every day. I mean, there's people that I work with and they'll say, oh, you know, so what time's your ride get here? I'm like, what are you talking about? Um, I was doubted by doctors. I wasn't gonna be able to do a lot of things, um, including drive a car, have a family, get a regular job. From that moment on, hearing that those doctors said that, that I was gonna do every single one of those things and more. What I wanna do is, you know, is talk to as many people as I can and inspire them and make people laugh and know what they have in life is a gift. The, the more you think, think about the negative in your life, the longer it's gonna hold you down. I mean, there's, there's nothing you can do but move forward. someone tells you that you can't do something, that's only them telling you you can't do something. It's on you to get over it and move forward.